this game. The combat system of this game is something that you will never see in the Arkham games, as they got that combat system inspired by the Spider-Man games. You see, the combat system is intense and full of weight. You can actually feel the weight and movement of the animations that play into the gameplay. It's phenomenal, giving you the atmosphere and tone of the early 2000s Batman movies. Directed by Christopher Nolan, the soundtrack plays not only during combat, but even during combo finishers. There's multiple attack moves that you can utilize, and combos. It's a more realistic Batman game, so it plays that way. And it's immersive, incredible, haunting, dark, atmospheric, and the combat is brutal and intense. Batman has multiple ways of conquering his enemies. First is the fear system. If you interact, yes, this game actually lets you interact with the environment. How ahead of its time for a game that came out in the early 2000s. Fun fact, when I first got this game, it came with a ticket to see the movie. Yes, the game actually came with that. So Batman has a fear system. Now, this groundbreaking gameplay mechanic is not only loyal to Batman's character and to Nolan's adaptation of the character, but it also plays into the game as an intense yet brilliant video game mechanic that can change the face of gameplay, causing the environment to be destroyed or causing enemies to get afraid and drop their weapons, giving you the ability to be able to conquer them. This game utilizes stealth like no other. There are many corridors and interiors to traverse through, to sneak, watch, and stay out of enemy detection. This game is a stealth game first, however, when you are seen or you are put into an intense situation, you have to utilize the game's intense combat system. This game's combat is so intense, so unique from any other, so immersive, so many animations and combos, and it's realistic and grounded, especially for the time that it came out that you will never see it again. Its combat system is realistic and grounded, and it is not in any other Batman game or Arkham. It's outstanding, and some of the best fighting and combat mechanics ever put to a game. Interrogation manipulation of one's environment. In the game, you are actually able to interrogate enemies. However, you, however you see fit. You can even choose how long and how much information you get out of them which can greatly affect gameplay. Not only this, but when you utilize the fear mechanic, it can change how enemies behave and even grant you finishers towards the enemy, including finishers inspired by the hallucinations seen in the movie of Scarecrow and how he saw the Batman when Batman gave him a dose of his own dial. They turn this one scene into an entire video game mechanic, and it changes the environment and enemy behavior, so you have to utilize fear and stealth to conquer your enemies. This creates a unique gameplay loop, as playing as Batman here means you have to utilize fear, and you have to utilize environmental interactivity. When you interrogate, these scenes are so well written, intense, and surreal. They really ground you into the experience of what Batman does. This level of intensity, realism, and immersion is only found in the Batman Begins game, especially the PS2 version, which is the ultimate way to experience this game. This grounded, realistic interpretation of Batman's character plays out with some of the best, most realistic and intense gameplay ever put to a Batman game. Even standing up to the legendary Arkham games for having incredible, well-designed, and brilliant corridors to traverse through. A unique and intense combat system only found in this gem of a game. Going through doors, seeing through doors, traversing through corridors, utilizing stealth, stealthing behind people, interrogating enemies, and even becoming fear itself. This game has so many unique gameplay mechanics, and to top it all off, it is one of the best, most refined combat systems ever made, and ever put to a Batman game. I mean, wow, this combat is so intense, so surreal, so incredible, so immersive, it has so much weight and mechanics too. It's hard. This game will challenge you to no end. It's not easy and will put you to the test through its combat. Even the most simplest of enemies pose an actual threat, like you're a real person. This game treats you more realistically as Batman, like the Nolan films, as those films were a more realistic interpretation of the character. They've done a phenomenal job of immersing you into the world of Batman, an incredible job of making you feel like you are Batman, in a more realistic and believable world, with realistic and grounded combat, 
with incredible moves and feats. These attacks and techniques are fluid, refined, and breathtaking to see in the gameplay. You can even use the battering to take down objects in your way. You might have to remember passcodes or interrogate someone or stealth near someone without being detected. Or use the battering for environmental interactivity or hacking or causing fear into your environment to get people to drop their weapons. All these amount of choices in a PS2 game. This game came out in the early 2000s and yet it is an ambitious piece of video game technology. When it comes to the stealth system in the game, you can traverse through different areas, find hidden items and information that can lead you to other enemies. You can take down people with a gun and only have to deal with people without weapons. Stealth is your greatest tool in this game. As it emphasizes stealth quite a lot, it can really shape your circumstance and situation in the game. It even has a hacking tool and multiple tools throughout the game that help you invade enemies' areas or locations. This game was so immersive, it actually let you hack into systems. Stealth around enemies, investigate people and situations, video game ambition is the definition of Batman Begins, and it's all over this experience. The tools you are allowed to have can be smoke bombs, batarangs, hacking tools, and things that let you interact with the game's environment. This game does a fantastic job of letting you interact with the environment. You can pick locks, you can sneak peek into doors, and locations throughout the game. Environmental interactivity is the key to most of the interactions that take place. In order to get the upper hand or sneak into a new area, you have to interact with the environment with tools the game gives you. Every tool matters and can actually have an effect on the gameplay. This game has more stuff than many next-gen games I've seen. A stealth system, a unique combat system, a fleshed-out fear system that changes enemy behavior based on your actions. It even has semi-destructible environments. Talk about adding to the game's immersion. Man, this game is atmospheric, intense, and surreal. It is the atmosphere found in the Christopher Nolan Batman movies, and it conquers this atmosphere to a T. The mission design is phenomenal, giving you choice and freedom as to how you'll take out the enemy. Will you hack? Will you use the Batarang and invoke fear by damaging their environment, forcing them to drop their weapons? Will you stealth behind the man with the gun, or will you go in combat first? It lets you choose how you go about these situations and rewards playing using the game's tools and environment. It's a challenging, rewarding experience with one of the best and most refined combat systems out there. The combat is intense and visceral, making you feel the intense weight and realistic feel of being Batman in the real world. The combat has multiple moves, and the mechanics are intense, satisfying, and rewarding. The intensity, the weight of the punches and kicks, the amount of moves, the attacks, the impact on enemies and people. This combat is so unique and realistic in comparison to the Arkham games. This combat system stands out from the crowd, and you will never see another combat system like it. It's that unique. They outdid themselves with this combat system, and I am a sucker for combat systems. This game's combat is intense, brutal, realistic, and grounded. It's so atmospheric and has great gameplay mechanics, making it addictive and free. Man, does this game have the atmosphere of the movies. It's dark, gritty, realistic, and has just the right amount of artistic direction to look distinct. The graphics are way ahead of its time, looking like a PS3 game on PS2. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. Borderline groundbreaking, with some of the best artistic direction ever put to a game, especially for the time that it came out. This impeccable artistic direction, the platforming is also good, allowing you to climb objects, glide in thin air, and traverse through multiple interiors and exteriors, scaring enemies, even activating the fear system. When you traverse through the game, there's many areas you have to climb and run through. You feel like a more realistic Batman, rather than the more exaggerated adaptations. It perfectly captures the atmosphere of the film, making it really stand out. You can use his grappling hook as well, helping you climb and traverse tons of areas you would normally have a rough time in. It feels like a more realistic Gotham, and it's quite immersive. The fear system is special, changing enemy behavior and circumstances depending on how you choose to interact with the environment. If you hack an area or use the battering to damage the environment by having objects fall or crash or get destroyed, enemies will be afraid of you and even drop their weapon, giving you 
the upper hand. Having each two play out is incredible gameplay design, hiding the experience to new levels. The fear system even works similar to how Scarecrow's fear toxin works, allowing people to see Batman as the Bat. They fear greatly, causing some impeccable CGI animated finishers. And these finishers are incredible. They have so much of an impact during combat that they cue the music during the finisher, thus adding to the impact. They even change the music when you're fighting. It's really cool and adds to the video game immersion and shows fantastic editing and great video game design. Capturing the atmosphere of the movies but still giving you freedom as the gameplay is quite interactable. The sound design, editing, and timing is impeccable. Having a heartbeat sensor for enemies, multiple sound cues and effects for combat devices and weapons, having tools, smoke bombs, batarang, giving you multiple tools and options, interrogating enemies, stealthing and movement, traversing through environments, fighting, and disappearing. You are literally fear itself, and you turn fear into your ultimate tool with the game's tools, your environment, and its gameplay design. The gameplay design is extremely fleshed out, giving you freedom of choice as to how you'll conquer enemies. Having such smooth and refined stealth, especially for a game that came out in the early 2000s, the combat, I have to tell you guys, this combat is absolutely incredible, giving you a more realistic feel and effect for attack moves and combat, making you feel like you're a real person as Batman. Every enemy poses a threat. You are invincible. You will find yourself searching for health quite often as you do not regen health. You have to actually find it, play carefully, and conserve your life. It plays so realistically, even having moments where Batman breathes over his own exhaustion. They expand upon something along those lines in another phenomenal game, King Kong the Game. Having the breathing notify the player of Jack's health. However, in this game, it shows Batman's exhaustion. The fact they even put this in the game is amazing. The little details are what count. Everything in this game works so well into the gameplay design the environmental interactions, and conquering enemies. You feel like a real detective in this game, investigating notes and finding out information from the people you interrogate, knocking down environments to scare enemies into dropping weapons, and backing them into a corner. Having a fleshed out combat system that is realistic and requires timing and skill to execute, having tons of unique animations and mechanics for the combat, stealth, and movement, making you feel like a real person as Batman, as the controls and movement are realistic and have a lot of weight and movement. This game is linear, yet it allows all this gameplay freedom. How ambitious for the time that it came out. You gotta understand, when this game came out, it came out in the early 2000s, during a time when games had just started getting used to polygons and 3D, ever since the PS1 and early 2000s PC era. Having all this artistic direction and graphical effects that even rival games that came out years later, making this game stand out from the crowd. Man, destroying those environments, watching enemies become more and more afraid of you as you topple down environments, having Batman use multiple tools and the environment to conquer enemies, all the different ways the game gives to the player to utilize these things to your advantage. It's incredible and it shows ambitious technology. This game came out during the PS2 generation, during a time where games didn't do things like this, especially a Batman game. This game isn't only great, but even does things you won't really see in games today. The platforming is very well designed, having many moments where you're dead close to the enemies and climbing multiple objects, sneaking and climbing around enemies with amazing design, allowing you to traverse around them without being seen with some great design and movement. The stealth is so refined, making you feel more realistic and allowing platforming freedom and movement around the enemy, even allowing you to grapple hook through many areas and climb through its platforming. You can lay waste to environments, causing new pathways to open, and yes, evoking fear in the enemy. Perfectly matching the atmosphere and tone of the film and allowing gameplay freedom to the player. There are many open world games today that don't allow for this level of gameplay freedom. That speaks volume for a game like this. So ambitious for its time, and having one of the most unique combat systems ever put to a game you will never see again. No other game has this combat system. This game combines stealth, combat, interrogation, investigation, tools, 
weapons, gameplay in a way you'll rarely see in a game. The level design is open to gameplay freedom. Gameplay freedom is the key when playing this game. It allows you to traverse stealth at will, interact with the environment, and as a fear system, it had a fleshed out intense and unique combat system no other game has or has ever had, allowing you to influence enemy behavior and the environment around you. And this game was on the PS2? You had a game like this on the PS2, whoa! Perfectly capturing the atmosphere and tone of the movie, taking what made the movie great and turning it into video game mechanics that play into the game's design, adding to the gameplay freedom and immersion. And this level design is phenomenal. Check out the level design. These levels are so fleshed out and allow so much gameplay freedom to test out the extent of the game's mechanics. Having good design allows for gameplay freedom, and this game's got it down. These levels have multiple areas to platform on, interiors, exteriors, doorways, sewage pipe entries, and different areas in the environment you can travel through to find the enemy. It's amazing that it has this level of fleshed out level design on a PS2. As if it's a next gen game. It competes with next gen games, as a lot of next gen games didn't allow for this level of freedom in its level design, making this level design phenomenal. This is some incredible level design here, giving the player space in their environment, giving the player freedom to traverse and move through, utilizing stealth to an ultimate potential, with level design created and designed well for these encounters, utilizing multiple tools, weapons, and gear to craft your own experience for each encounter. The level design is realistic. It is also designed for freedom, as it is created for you to utilize its environments for stealth and encounters. With this incredible movement and motion, it should create some fine stealth encounters. With a multitude of interiors, you can traverse through traversing and climbing around enemies, hearing their conversations, and sneaking into multiple areas. In its fleshed out level design, the level design is so open-ended and free, it allows you to tackle situations in different ways playing into the gameplay dynamic. Fear is a powerful tool in the game. Many areas have their own fear level. Depending on how you treat enemies and the environment can determine the area's level of fear. So sometimes you will come across a fear area so high you'll meet people who are already afraid of you. Your actions have an impact in that sense. And of course, the fear system, depending on how you interact with the environment, whether it be hacking or the battering, can determine the level of fear an enemy can experience, causing them to change gaming behaviors, and even drop their weapon, and allowing new finishers for the enemy to see Batman, as Crane saw him through the fear toxin, taking scenes from the movie and turning it into incredible and unique gameplay mechanics. You can even use the battle ring to unlock secret or hidden areas and utilize it to go around the enemy. That's how much they fleshed out the level design in a game from the early 2000s. This game was so atmospheric, capturing the atmosphere of the movie, oh, capturing the atmosphere of the movie so well, so captivating and brilliant, its combat mechanics were never replicated again. Its combination of stealth and combat, and fleshed out level design, and its, a, and its brilliant and unique fear system, create a profound gaming experience unlike any other, especially on the PS2 generation, as this game stands up to the metal. This atmospheric relic is a master class of video game design. So, how do you feel about Batman games in general? Do you think uh, the Arkham games are better? Heresy! But in all seriousness, how do you feel about Batman games? Batman Begins, Arkham, do you think the combat is better in Arkham? I think the combat is more unique and fleshed out and challenging in Batman Begins. How do you feel about this atmospheric relic? Let me know in the comments below. And I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me, uh, you know, to get new gears and tools for YouTube. Like a better mic. Elgato PS3 adapter, making the channel better, and you'd help tremendously. This was Tarragon, and thank you for watching.